If you like the content I provide on this channel, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video, and get notified whenever I make a brand new video uploaded to this channel. Without further ado, and without wasting any more time, let us get started. Now that with the summer of 2018 finally up and gone, well the fact that we're still in August of 2018, I'd like to give you guys a sincere apology. What's up dudes and this? it's your boy Carson and we are here to finally get into this brand new segment I like to call Shane's Analysis and this is the first episode. Without further ado, let's do this. So I want to point out that the fact of the matter is it has been a while since the Summer Rose update that I had to basically take a month off from doing, yeah, after Summer's update, post a post another update video but i decided to extend the summer's Rose update by posting as much as i could in pretty much the span of two months but without any uh regulations well not really regulations more adding any restrictions or anything that's pretty much been hindering in the last two months i've kind of been in the silent side like on the sidelines in terms of what's been going on in terms of that i've heard that the sonic media plus like bleh, sonic media plus has pretty much Got the fans, you know, at ease, knowing the fact that they finally got mighty and rated. I even had to try it out, and it was fun. But now it's time to move on to something new. This episode is not really an update video from the last one. This was act. This is basically that. Well, blah, I want. Let me let me put it up to you, man, because I got to this. Okay, let me point this out to you right now. Starting this as of this video. I'm going to basically abandon the update videos and just strictly move on to the analysis videos. So this is the first episode of analysis videos and you already know from what the thumbnail and the title is called. So guess what? I'm not going to repeat myself. So let's do this. So without anything else, I want to point out that the fact is that I know that I have been holding back on pretty much providing the associates with what to do, but I had to tell them months ago, summer was no good. I repeat, summer was no good and I had to pretty call it back originally i had plans for vanessa sonica at that point after the 12th sanger and moby's picture was was finished up and published but however because of this it was found out that i was lacking in lacking in funds and keeping everything up to code so pretty much i had to cancel a lot of subscriptions to sites like epidemic sound amazon prime i had to cancel a lot of stuff but not the important stuff, the basically the afterthought stuff had to be pretty much canceled. Well, pretty much the subscriptions got to be canceled because I'm sorry, there was no way I was going to make it through the summer with practically zero monies. So pretty much I had to pretty much hold on up for that. Another thing I want to point out was the fact is that Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 next DLC, aka DLC 7 or Extra Pack 3, is probably going to be coming by the end of this month because, well, if you go to Ryan Styles' video on it, which I'll leave the description below, you'll know that it's coming out someone at the end of August. I'm speculating, not predicting, not pretty much like some some psychic knowing the fact, yep, this DLC is coming out on this on the, at the end of August. No, I don't know. I'm not a game developer. I don't work at Bandai. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Like I said, I, I'm not in Japan. I don't know what's going on in there, man. It's them, not me. Don't look at me like I'm I'm part of the team, no. I'm just speculating and know what's going on because I've pretty much been silent at the point. But Without anything else, I decided that when I found out that it's going to be Baby and Kefla in the game, I realized that I immediately regretted purchasing Fighters. Yes, I purchased Dragon Ball Fighters a month after it was released because I wanted to see how the game did, and it did well, so I bought the game at full price. But then when um, the producer of Xenoverse 2 announced that they were going to continue making DLCs for Xenoverse 2, I said to myself, well, fuck me. Looks like I regretted per buying Fighters because... First they said baby, now Kefla, now I'm fucked. That means that I pretty much just wasted over $60, oh, $60 plus the season pass. The season pass would be $200. That's a hundred bucks I'm not getting back and this was, was digital because pretty much I stopped doing physical releases because pretty much, you know, I don't necessarily 
go and buy physical copies anymore, but if I buy I mean, physical copies, I probably go get it off the store or probably somewhere on Amazon because that's where I mostly be getting all my um you know classic games. Like if you guys learned from last year when I did the Hot with Interactive Trilogy with my co-host Daz, I basically bought those games off Amazon and basically did the reviews. Actually, during as time goes on after this video, I will be doing a look back at them, do a new analysis videos instead of what was provided from those videos. Because, come on, man, those were kind of like half ass videos, man. But, like I said, I want to try to make it better and give my own perspective on it. Since it's been a year since I've basically touched those games, I'm willing to go back and give them another chance. Without further ado, let's just move on to the next thing. Which, come on, guys, you already know that I have been kind of. Kind of been a blocking, like not really blocking, been kind of keeping stuff for you guys because on my Discord server I stated before that some of my stuff that I've been posting had to be back to be locked behind Patreon for reasons. As of the fact of the matter is, like I had to pay out of pocket to get specific pieces had to be published. But like I said, I have I make sure that most of the stuff that I make is free to the pub, free to all. But some stuff had to be locked behind a certain, a certain, a certain paywall, so I had to adjust my Patreon to make it easier and reasonable. But like I said, it's all options up to you. But like I said, there will be very important news that you will be missing out. Don't come to me and acting all confused. Don't me all coming to me knowing the fact that you miss out something because I told you, I told you so. There are certain pieces of information that are locked behind Patreon because. I may have put down the details in, um, in notes, but some of those notes had to be locked behind Patreon because, like I said before, there's more to it than meets the eye. So I had to make sure that everything was accounted for. So you have two options on my Patreon, such as casual or expert mode. Casual mode, you basically basically leave behind five dollars every month, or if you want to go all out, go for expert mode because everybody likes to be a veteran. So veteran mode, or basically, it's you get to, you basically have to pay twice the amount. Like you got to pay ten dollars, but like I said, it's nothing. There's no twenty dollars, no fifty dollars, no hundred dollars. I don't know what kind of patreons, no kind of patreon, no kind of uh, content creators on Patreon is throwing hundred dollar um tears at you, man. Like bruh, come on, man. So I throw in reasonable prices because, like I said before, it's much better if you actually give reasonable tiers or pretty much memberships because that's what they call it. But however, comma. The expert mode is definitely the one you need to look out for because I do make with your content, but like I said, it's all blocked behind expert mode. If you pay your, if you go for casual mode, you're fine. But like I said before, I had to make sure that all of my hidden goodies had to be hide behind expert mode. Or if I post them freely, it'll be on my other social medias that I did not mention here, such as Ink Bunny for Affinity and so forth and so forth. Because once again, I'm not the type of guy that basically is going to go out there and just, just blech, just randomly like, hey guys, this is what's brand new. Guess what? You got to go fight in yourselves, man, because like I said before, you can, uh, you can carry your own weight. But I want to get something, I want to get this one last thing out of the way first, was the fact that Vanessa Sonic, I'm very sorry that you have to wait out all this time. I know that pretty much, you know, commission stuff is slow on your end, but like I said before, man, if... Like I said, this up uh, this video in particular is the first episode of the analysis series, but I had to dive in and knowing the fact that yes, if you guys haven't figured it out, I do have a savings account and there is loads of money, loads of funds in there, but I can't touch it because I said to myself that's only for emergencies and emergencies are very important. So if something would have happened to me, that's when the emergency funds come in. Like I said before, I have been saving up and basically been putting it in savings. So pretty much, yeah, I'm not touching the savings. It may be stacked, but not, but like I said, it's for emergencies only. If I break my bones, then hospital. If I break something, then hospital. If I have to get something replaced, then hospital. But for now, as of this right as of this video, I had to basically put this entire video basically with the same computer that I've been using for the last two years, the same mid mid-2013 macbook pro it's pretty much on its last feet because its battery is freaking freaking kaputs it still works as you see of the video and the fact that i had to edit this out at the nick of time because i did not expect time to fly by so fast and the fact is that i was occupied with pretty much helping out my co-host and my old man with the doomsday highest had to get used to the after hours dlc from gt online i had to make sure to get seats prepped up because guys i want to actually do a an analysis video on City Skylines on PS4 
but I can't do it without the Mass Transit DLC as of this video. As of me posting this video, the Mass Transit DLC for Xbox One and PS4 has not been announced with no release date or no further information. Well, with that, I would like to thank you guys for all for coming to this video. I know that I have been slow behind the YouTube videos, but I really wanted to make sure to keep you guys up to date knowing the fact that I have not been dead, I'm not killed off, I've just been doing stuff behind the scenes. But now I want to give you guys a farewell knowing the fact that, well screw it, let's just end this video.